What's up, Trey 2, man? Welcome back to another video. And today, we got another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're doing a paternity court video. I watched one. It was interesting. So, I'm going to do another one. I ain't watched this one yet. This is our first time watching it together. So, you know what I'm saying? We about to get right into this. But don't forget, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And click the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. 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 Bro, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, notification bell, because we're getting to it, bro. Every day we drop a video, it might be a vlog, might be a prank, might be a reaction video, but we're getting to it, bro. With that being said, we about to get right into this video. Hey. Eternity Court Wait, should be see? good. Before we go any further, I'm gonna just give y'all my opinion. I don't think that's just baby. That's just my opinion. So you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Don't ask me why. You know what I'm saying? This is what I think. So we're gonna keep it going. Kyle is tearing you apart. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Mr. Thomas, you claim that after finding pictures of Miss Yancey and the baby with another man, you are convinced you are not. We got so, Ms. Yancey, tell us why this court <coughs> is so important. Well, it's important because, um, well, we've been having a few issues ever since my baby was born. Um, it would go, you know, he was there through the entire pregnancy, and um, As you should. we would go back and forth after the baby was born about, you know, the baby doesn't look like him, the baby looks like me. Or, and that's you know, one reason why I said... Like this Wait, let me pause it. Resolution. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why I think that's not his baby, because he black. He's real black. Y'all look, y'all y'all just go take a look at him. He's real black. She, on the other hand, she light skin, yeah, but she got some black in her, meaning she probably half white, half black. So the baby should at least be 75% black, is what I'm trying to say. But you just never know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not it's a doctor or scientist, so who am I to say? Um, yes, Your Honor. So your relationship's on the line, Mr. Thomas? A lot going on right now because of these paternity doubts? Yes, Your Honor, it is. What do you mean? Do you feel like you don't know if you're going to stay or you're going to go? Where are you at with this? Um, right now, Your Honor, Your Honor it's, it's hard, you know, because I do love her and all. And throughout the whole relationship, we always talked about having a child together. But, you know. Wait, okay. Now it's like. All right, that's. Okay. Now that I'm seeing different pictures of the baby, the baby might be his. It's just that other picture, the baby was so white. Maybe it's because it was a newborn picture, I don't know. But the baby looked like it's getting some color right here, so we're gonna see what they got to see. He should have been got a, a test. A mouse of all soon as the baby came out. Nature of your relationship with Mr. Thomas during the period of time right before you got pregnant. We were just getting back together. We were still um there was a little brief breakup. Yes. Oh okay. and she went high, he was did her thing thing. And then I started seeing somebody, but basically it that all transpired boy. from um us just not being pretty much truthful with each other. And um like she said, even at the time, we we're both seeing someone, but we we're still seeing each other. So it wasn't like, well. So it sounds to me, y'all friends with benefits, y'all slipped up and had a baby. Or were you together? More like friends with benefits. Exactly. Yeah. Well, but were you also dating and sleeping with other people? I didn't start dating and sleeping with other this people until Maurice had seen me giving my friend a ride. We were going out. He seen me at the gas station. But hey, if that's your man, if y'all was dating, I don't know what was y'all what y'all situation was before this happened. But if y'all was dating and 
he wasn't informed that you was giving your male friend a ride at least, then I would have like I don't blame him for getting mad. I would have did the same thing. Imagine you chilling with your homie, you chilling when when your girl's supposed to be at work or something, and y'all going to pull up to get some guards, and then you see your girl walking out of a gas station with a whole nother dude, and you she's supposed to be doing some whole other stuff. She said she was doing some at the grocery store some goofy shit. So I mean. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said. If you're in a relationship with somebody, you weren't in a man. Like I said. Like I said. This dude's reading my mind. Taking the words right out of my mouth. And like you said, y'all was smashing. We're so broken up. There's no need for you to come ask me. Go ask your new friend. If you're messing with somebody. And that's fine. And that's fine. So why would it... The lady in the back. Let me pause it. Bro, the lady in the back right there with her head to the... Her hair to the... Bro, she looks so high, bro. Maybe I'm tripping out. Everybody look hard. Oh my god. And you'll be surprised. They still got some people who do that. He's a goofy. Why is you wearing I'm pink, happy bro? Trying to match mind, the like, thing. Yes, it finally happened. And then after she told me, she left and texted me that the baby might not be mine. That's correct. Oh. And um, I told him, and once I started thinking about the conception date and the day I conceived, we were on a breakup. And I was seeing someone else. Well, if, he, if she been told you this, you should have been got a paternity test. The baby's seven months old. How y'all get diseases. That you have to then figure out how to clean up. And we all got the tools to mess up. But then we act like we don't have the materials to clean up. Hmm. That's what this courtroom is. We're the clean up court. Hmm. That's what we do. We no really. We clean up messes here. I'm listening. So that Kahari doesn't have to live in. Right. Innocent Plus, little baby, bro. As he should. He seemed like he's a good man. Bro, that's. I don't know. And even though, even though she was skeptical, you know, she told me, and I had my doubts, but at the same time, it was like a fifty percent chance it is mine. I don't want to have a son. You know what I mean? Wow. Looking at it, but a big T-shirt. So regardless, I stepped, I stepped up. Nah, yeah, yeah, good shit. Man. Good shit. You made the choice. Yes. Regardless, I made the choice to be there. Man, that's so sad. If this is not his baby. If this not his baby, bro, this is going to be sad, bro. Because, bro, he should have been got a paternity test, like, been. Unless she told him this after she had the baby, like, recently or something. But it's crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I 
<laughs> this nigga stupid. It's blunt. So if the baby look too much like the mom, okay, so what you're about then? then it can't be for just the dad, the right? Bro, you're stupid. And even if you ain't the daddy, she still can put you on child support legally. You the legal father since you signed the birth certificate. Goofy. Boy, I have to pay 18 years for baby that ain't his. Fuck my baby. Okay, well, all right. That makes sense. That's, I guess it's hereditary. But did he have the six, did you have the six finger? That's the real question. She's so goofy, bro. Ain't no. By not telling him, that just fueled his doubt even more. Right, right. And I understand. I don't know what we're going through these girls' minds. From, from that aspect. And so, like I said, I never meant for it to go that way. But my intentions was to explain to him. But after, after how long? Because we were back for, like, like I said, four or five days. And then we had an eight-hour ride together. And then, I mean. That was the perfect time, eight-hour ride. Between. Well, actually, nah, that's going on. You got to tell like the last 30 minutes of the ride. Oh, so two months ago? Yes. What has it been like for the, for the last two months? I mean, it's been kind of hard because, you know, I've, I've grown a love and we've got a bond together. Exactly. That's why I said you should have been got the paternity test, like, bro. If you feel like this, then why Because it's going to hurt even more now. You're trying to put him or put another man in his life that hasn't been there or doesn't want to be there. Oh, the other right. man doesn't want to know that. Right. You should have no other person around your kid. Around your kid, period. Period. Unless you serious. Exactly. Amen. Miss Yancey, I have to agree with Mr. Thomas's logic. Hey. I think you should have informed him in advance. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have went for it at all. So and you felt like he I would wouldn't have either, but at least no. tell me. He either would have said no, or he would have given up on us and said, do what you're going to do. She still have a communication okay. with this guy. And without me knowing. It, okay. He has seven fingers. He ain't had six fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. So, do you like this surgery to take it off? Or?
Cause she know that's not his baby. It's just that she know that's not his baby. Well, let's get the DNA results. Hmm. Oh, this crying. What are you going to do, Mr. Thomas? I mean, have you thought about what you're going to do if you're not the biological What can you do? Exactly. 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 That he still got smashed. That's all he's saying. Exactly. Better wrap up that weenie. <laughs> That's some messed up stuff to say, but. Bring me the results. You are not the father. Watch that go go to commercial. I'm sad for him, bro. Sorry. It's I mean, all good, bro. I, I still love her, and I still love him at the end of the day. But if she no, wants yeah. to build, if she wants to build a father-son relationship with Kahari and other men, then I feel like there's no need for me to try to build a strong relationship yeah. with him. hear all that i understand what she's saying but at the same time all the love and the heartbroke and the and the and the all that, that has, like every time you look at that kid you can be like dang you could have like you know what i'm saying and you don't want the other dad to be like i don't know bro that's just how i feel bro i feel like I don't know. It's just hard to even, cause everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? So everybody would do. Everybody wouldn't make this. It would be all different decisions at the end of the day. So I don't know, bro. It's sad for him. I feel sad for him, bro. But it is what it is, bro. It's life. So um, yeah, fuck it. But it's your boy Trey, man. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to um subscribe, press that like button. You know what I'm saying? And um, have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to press subscribe.